Southern, Southern Indian, Indian Chicken Curry. curry. Okay. Hello, everybody. Here again today, Pearly and Macha is cooking for you. Thank you so much for all your likes, all your subscription. We are very, very happy. Um, we, will be, we are so encouraged, so inspired that you want to learn Indian food. Um, a lot of uh, people here loves curry. We, we have all kinds of curry here. So today we are going to do a typical Southern Indian curry with a twist. It has some Nonya influence. Yeah, but we love this curry. Every time we eat this curry. Uh, celebration on Nonya side also we eat Indian festival celebration at home birthdays and also we eat this curry so how not to share with you this wonderful recipe okay now we're going to start cooking so now chandra Where's will the chicken? Uh, the chicken is here but uh, i'm going to show you um, that we have made a chili paste this is a chili paste uh, i did some magic so this chili paste has lemongrass I cut them up and then three to four red chilies. Yeah, then I blend everything up. So this is the paste. So we can get cooking straight away. All right. So matcha is going to turn on, on the, heat. the heat. Turn on the heat. Okay, the heat is on. The heat is on. Um, make the sure the pot is hot. Put it's hot. We've got water inside. Mm. Take the cloth and clean. Ah, then only you can pour your water in. There's one drop of water still after you can splatter. Hmm. That's right. Ah. Very good. You're learning very fast. No la one tau care already. How many, how many tablespoons? Okay. Three tablespoons, please. Okay. okay. Ah. Then your. Uh, your chili, chili first. Oh, chili first. To me, the chili, chili first. first. Uh, chili first. Uh. Pour everything. Garlic. Ginger. <laughs> Bless you. Onion, okay, now we stir. So he's going to stir until it's well done, yeah? Keep stirring. Wow, look at that. The curry looks so good, huh? Then it's after he added the chili, dry chili, red chili. I love my chicken curry, red <laughs> onions. Oh, wow, wow, wow. somebody is sneezing, coughing because it's spicy. Uh, I'm not taking revenge. Huh? <laughs> it's getting so spicy. Okay, now, now Masa is going to add in curry leaf and the dry herbs. Uh, so, so the dry herbs one by one. This is cinnamon stick. Uh, then, what is this? Star anise, mm -hmm. uh, cardamom, and cloves. Four cardamom and six or seven cloves. Uh, okay, put everything in. Put a good stir, lower the heat, it's getting too hot. Yeah, put a good stir. Uh, I love chicken curry so rich. Usually they don't cook so rich curry, but I can't help it. I love it this way. Okay, very good. Now, all the powders can go in. Ah. All the powder can go in. First, turmeric powder. Turmeric powder. Yeah. And black pepper, black pepper, here first. 
Whenever you put turmeric powder, remember to put black pepper. Uh, not the black hand, black pepper only. Uh, then red chili with a little bit, not much. Uh, all of it can go in. There's only enough for the curry. And this is uh, coriander, cumin, this is fennel, fennel, uh, and cumin. Yeah. Give a good stir. Now, give a good stir. Yeah. There's not enough oil, so I'm getting Chandra to put in mm, because of the chili that got stuck. We hardly want to waste anything. Yeah. Still not enough oil. This is about this is about half a chicken, so I'm putting. I love a lot of very fully spiced. This is how I like my chicken curry. Yeah, the booster. Yeah. Very good. Uh, we let it cook for a while on low heat. Yeah. Low heat. Yeah. It's low heat. Beautiful. Wow, the smell is so amazing. The smell is so amazing. Now I'm going to let it stir for a little while more to get it, the aromatics to come to mature. Yeah, please stir. The reason is you have to keep stirring at this point so that it doesn't burn. And uh, if there's not enough oil, we'll still be adding, adding in. Okay, Macha, you understand? Understand. Ah, the last two curries, not many, not much of the curry powder. so. He gets away with uh, uh, right estimation of oil. This time, this is like my favorite curry. Okay, Maracha is cooking goli curry. When the nieces and nephews were young, they will always say, What curry? What curry? They also always say, They will disturb me. I'm their pearly auntie. They will say, Pearly. <laughs> they call me as uh, rather than call me pearly, they will call me coli auntie. Coli auntie, they cannot pronounce coli curry, they call coli auntie. Yeah, so this is a very good memory. Yeah, I must always scrape the ladle. Now we're going to add water now. Now, when we're going to add water, this is going to simmer for like 20 to 25 minutes. Water in, not how much you want. Yeah, I will. Keep going, keep going, keep going. High heat, high heat, high heat. Anything to boil, high heat. More water, more water because got potato. More water. Okay. Oh yeah. And the potato goes in. Hmm. Potato goes in. Give a good stir. Then we are going to close the lid and let it boil for. 20, 20 minutes. 20, 20, minutes. Oh, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. The potato will cook then. I will set the timer for the 20 minutes to come. Yeah, give a good stir first. Uh, make sure anything that sticks at the bottom. Very good action. You did it before I tell you. Wow, oh, so clever already. Uh, keep stirring. See that who's the teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so. We'll leave it to boil and simmer for 20 minutes, yeah? Okay, the chicken is ready 20 minutes. It's ready. So, Chandra is... We, off and on, we open up the lid to stir. Not that we leave it by itself for 20 minutes. Now, don't be scared. Huh? If you don't eat so red, you don't have to put so many chilies. Just that I love it red. I love my chili 
curry, chicken curry especially, spicy, eat until I can sweat. Yeah. Now, uh, Chandra is going to put the pandan leaf. He's going to tear into two and then make a knot. Then he puts it in. At the same time, he put the chicken in. Uh, you, you can pour everything in like that. Half it. Okay, now, now um, the, to, the to, potato. Some of you may have questioned why I put the potato first. We, we have a lot of potatoes here. And this particular brand of potato, uh, I love it cooked, um, about 80% cooked. Then when I put the chicken in, it will fully cook and also absorb the sweetness from the chicken. Yeah, so that's why I put it in first. But in the case where you have uh, chicken, uh, the potato that cooks very fast, then you have to put the chicken meat first, not the not the potatoes. Yeah, it all depends on what kind of potatoes you have. Okay, as you can see, it's just nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the coconut coconut cream yet. But you can add a little bit more water now, or else you will not cook. Macha, add some little, little bit some water. water in, a bit more water. Just a little. One, okay. two, three. Ah. So then it will be above the chicken. Ah. Everything must be submerged so that it can fully cook. Give a good stir again. Put whatever is in the center, bottom upwards. Ah, then. Yeah. What is the action I never allow you to do? Pop the chicken. Ah, murdering the chicken. <laughs> I always tell my you cooking guests, do don't, don't murder the chicken. Tell all your students. Ah, okay, all my cooking students. Okay, good. Ah, close it again. Close it halfly only. Ah. Half. Ah. You don't fully really close it. We close half lid like that. And in a short while, we are going to be ready. Then we'll add the... I'll just leave it for... You can add... Actually, you can close fully because this is chicken. We're going to leave it for 15 minutes and then the chicken is cooked, yeah? But off and on, about 5 or 7 minutes, we will open it and give a stir. Okay, now the chicken is cooked after 15 minutes. We are opening it up. And give it's boiling. Stir. Is it low heat, right? Low heat, yes. Yeah, very good. Now, you can put your sugar and salt. Salt for this much, half a teaspoon. Ah, full. Ah, yeah. Maybe not enough. Okay, salt just just a little bit. Please sugar, salt. sorry. Mm -hmm. Sugar just a little. Ah, okay. enough. Enough. About a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, enough. Then coconut cream goes in. Mm. Yeah. Goes in. Goes in. Come, push the bone. Just washing the bowl. Okay, uh, give a good stir. Now you will see magic happen. If you put your coconut cream last, it doesn't look oily anymore. Uh, this is the magic of the coconut cream. If you put too early, that's where it looks so oily. It, it turns oily. Becomes so pachaminya more and more and more for 35 minutes of cooking. While your chicken cook, it will just pachaminya. So that's what we don't do. Okay, can you please taste? Beautiful. Look, you must blow first, eh? <laughs> Very hot. Uh, don't blow, that means you don't scream. Huh? You're on camera, don't mm, scream. Perfect. Huh? Perfect salt also. Yes. Wow. You're gonna turn off the heat. Okay, heat turn off. Ah, then we will plate for you. Okay, now this is our Southern Indian chicken curry, chicken curry. with a nonya twist. How come got nonya twist? Huh? Where is it? 
Nyonya teacher mah. Oh, my teacher the Nyonya. <laughs> Aiyah, <Ayah, laughs> <pong -pong. laughs> you forgot. So they say go Nyonya lah, or else where you eat so rare. I, I say is Indian chicken curry. Huh? Taught by Nyonya lady. So huh? you can say Indian Nyonya chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye everyone. See you in bye. the next video. Bye.